Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a requested video from one of the fabulous subscribers all about what do you do about frugal fatigue. Let's get started and talk about it. I think many folks do sometimes get tired of living a frugal lifestyle and I'm going to tell you why I think that is and I'm going to tell you what I'm doing about it in 2022 and it's kind of a fun idea. Let me get right into the video. What I feel like is part of the reason that people get tired of being frugal and it could be different reasons for different people. I'm going to tell you I think what the big one is. Many times, and I know I thought this for a long time, being frugal is going without and lack. Actually, being frugal for me is not about lack or going without or not enjoying life. What frugal actually is to me are two different things. Number one, using all your resources you have at home. In other words, not wasting food. If you buy something like a shirt that you're wearing that shirt, that you're using everything that you have in your home and taking good care of it. That's number one. Number two, before making purchases, do your research so that you're getting the best value. That for me is what frugality is. Let me know if you guys agree with that. Now, you guys know I'm on a mindful, and I'm going to actually say this for every year, instead of being on a no spend, low spend, which those can be fabulous too, by the way, and a lot of people have had a lot of fun with those because you can make it a game, but instead, for me, I'm doing something called mindful spending and just being aware of my spending and getting the best value, but yet enjoying life as well. So, you know I use the cash envelope system, or many of you do know that. What I'm doing is if I have leftover money, a lot of times when I had leftover money in the cash envelope system, I would just transfer it to the next month and I wouldn't know what I would do with it. Now I'm keeping a separate space for leftover money. One month I might have $5 left over, another month I might have 40. The new rule for 2022 is this. I can use that money for whatever I want. It could be for something for me or others. And I can enjoy that money if I want. And I'm going to give you an example. My slow cooker broke. Now, could I get away without a slow cooker slash crock pot? Yes. But I purchased myself a brand new slow cooker uh, slash crock pot. I did not buy the cheapest. This is a two-in-one. It cost $55. I wanted it. I will use it. And I purchased it. Do I feel bad for buying it? Not one bit because I'm going to use it a lot. I make so many things and I use this several times a week. And what I love is that it actually has dual crocs. So it has two crocs, one that has a divider in the middle. And I don't know if you can see this. I will turn this. This thing is heavy, guys. And so I'm really excited about doing this. By the way, I keep asking, what's the difference between a slow cooker and a crock pot? I think I asked that on one of my other videos, though. But anyway, randomly, let me get back to the video. Bottom line is, if I want to, I can purchase anything that I wish. For example, there's times, many times, where I'm in a store and I'm like, oh, I'd really like to have this, but nobody else in the family drinks or eats this. Example, I saw this sparkling wine that I really wanted, but nobody else would eat it or drink it. So I'm like, well, you know, that's the, what I may use the money for if I want. So I just started this. What did I use my money for last month? And I'm going to give you all the things I'm going to do. Number one, the thing I'm actually the most excited about is, let's say I have $40 left over. I can bless somebody with that money. So, for example, if I was out with you and I wanted to buy you a nice meal, or let's say there was a book you wanted or a shirt you wanted, I could bless you with that with leftover money. I actually did that just about a week ago. I bought a dear friend some things for lunch, preparing her lunches. And she selected what she wanted and she absolutely loves it and is super excited about it. And it brought a lot of joy to me to be able to give. So giving is one of my favorite things. Number two, if there's something that I really want, I could purchase it for myself. And number three, let's say there's nothing I really want or there isn't anything that a dear friend or family member really wants, I could set that money aside and if there's something fun I want to do entertainment wise that I want to save up for, I could. For example, something that I've been wanting to do is go to a murder mystery dinner. I've been to, I've actually had to, I've been invited to one 
and at someone's home and then we had one once and it's been years but I would love to do something like that again and there's one that's a play I could go to a play a movie maybe to a fun restaurant you know I could go to the state fair I could do something fun and create memories with that money so one give two, buy something for myself number three create memories those are the three things I came up with so and this is kind of what I'm doing with my extra money and how I'm combating frugal fatigue so I'd love to know from you guys if you ever get tired of being frugal what do you do about it to bring a little more joy and fun in your life I'd love to hear from you in the comments below that's all I have to say for now I love you I appreciate you and like always I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video bye bye